So we are going to MATLAB and uh, let's first uh, construct the matrix. Okay, so in order to construct the matrix, uh, we need a delta x, right? In order to have, have a delta x, we need a grid. So let's set a grid goes from 0 to 1. And uh, how many grid points would you like? Huh? 10, okay. Sure, n is equal to 10. Okay, then my x would be link space. Any, anybody, everybody knows the link space function? 0, 1. How many points should there be? n plus 1, very important. I mean, it's almost trivial, but like uh, very common mistakes you make in code, uh, I make in code is uh, this plus one, minus one things. Okay, so I have an x. If you look at x, uh, too much. Yeah, uh, they are uniformly spaced with uh, point one, right? Come on. Okay, so dx, delta x is. I can just uh, do x2 minus x1 because it's uniformly spaced. So dx is 0.1. All right. Now I need the matrix. How big is the matrix? 10 by 10? Huh? 9 by 9. Right. Because we didn't include the left and right boundaries. So there are 11 points in total, 9 interior points. All right. So my matrix, let me call it A, is equal to, let me first construct it as an identity matrix, N minus 1. Okay, so it's identity matrix, it basically there are 1s on the diagonal and zeros off the diagonal. So, in order to make the diagonals the same as what I want it to be, I need to multiply by minus 2 over delta x squared. Right, so now they become minus 200. That's exactly what I need to be, right? Okay, now add the upper and lower diagonals. A is equal to A plus the upper diagonals has size, uh, has magnitude of 1 over delta x squared times, I'm going to use uh, uh, this diag function, uh, the diag function. Oh, it's good uh, it pops up help. So so V, and I'm going to use this format. So the V is what are the numbers you want to give it on the diagonal. And K is if you want to shift the diagonal for K values. So here we're going to use a K equal to 1 and K equal to minus 1 to put the values both on the lower and, di uh, lower and upper diagonals. So V would be 1s of A minus 2 and 1, right, because uh, the upper diagonal and lower diagonal has even one less value than the size of the matrix. And k, let's do one first. Okay, so let's look at the matrix A. We added the upper diagonal of half the size and opposite sign as the diagonal entries. To add the lower diagonals, just to make the k to be minus one, right? Okay, so we get it. Uh, that's our matrix. So I'm glad it's 10 by 10, but because otherwise this is going to be huge. <laughs> so thanks for that. All right. Uh, so now next, let's construct. We have the matrix. Now let's construct. Uh, sorry, there should be a kappa on here. Let's construct uh, the right hand side, uh, the, the, the constant vector. Let's call it B. So if let's, let's first uh, construct the trivial case where I have boundary conditions both to be 0. So this whole vector is going to be 0, right? So B is going to be zeros of size n minus 1 and 1, right? Don't forget the 1. Oh, by the way, I, I, I had students not in this class, but in another class uh, that uh, in using MATLAB and uh, forget this 1 when they're trying to construct a vector. I mean, the class was on doing Monte Carlo method, so, so basically you need to make a random vector of, let's say, uh, several million numbers. So they did uh, a rand of several million numbers and the computer just uh, freeze forever. <laughs> so, uh, so we have this. Uh, now let's do the whole thing. So let's, uh, so what kappa do we want? 
Let's make it 0 0.01. Uh, point, point 0.01 to make it slow. Okay, so we can see see things. And let's code up uh, a a function so that we can use an ODE solver. Let's make it ddt heat. And uh, so. Duh, 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 duh. Input arguments uh, is the T first or U first? Or is uh, I think it's is it T? Uh, anybody remember how to use ODE45? It's T first, okay. DUDT is equal to that. And uh, are the U's a row vector or column vector? Column. column, okay, thanks. So so basically, let's uh, uh, let's make use of all these variables we constructed before and uh, a, do we need n at all? Or do we don't need n? Uh, and b, right? Because we already know the size. Does it work like that? Uh, it's it's uh it's hard. Uh, after almost a year, uh, I mostly program actually in Python. So getting back to back to MATLAB is a little bit uh, uh familiar. So. We have this, and uh, dudt would be equal to. Oh, we also need kappa. We also need k. Do I need <coughs> Do I need the commas here or not? Doesn't matter. Okay, dudt would be equal to k times a times u plus b. All right. So that's it. Right. Okay. So let's try this. I will set an initial condition to be uh, to be let's make an exponential function. Okay, let's make a make an exponential function that looks nice. So let's set it to be uh, minus x minus 0.5. Let's make it centered uh, squared divided by <coughs> 0.1 squared. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's plot it to make sure it looks like something. Okay, so it's an exponential function on a very coarse grid. So it's a. Uh, this is our initial condition. Let's try to solve it. So to solve it, uh, we get tu equal to ODE forty-five. Uh, we are going to give the ODE function that's ddt heat. The t span. Let's solve it for it goes from zero to one second and our u is the initial condition all right in the matrix dimension must agree all right u0 shouldn't be the entire u it should be only u in the interior right so that should be our initial condition so let's keep that in the dimension still doesn't agree U0 needs to be a column. Thank you. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, so let's actually show what U is here. U seems to be okay, right? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh? Oh, I think my B is incorrect. Right. My B is uh uh was was fine. Uh size of B. Oh, B was fine. So is it kappa? And you have to transpose the whole expression because it's a row vector. Because what? Uh, because I think DUDT should be a row. DUDT has to be a row vector. You sure? But uh, th that's that's what not what it tells me. In the matrix dimension, must agree. Mm.
Yes. Do you have to keep the dot star multiplication to the change dot star times the area of the circle? No, I think I, I think it tells me the dimension of A is zero zero. Global is it is it like that? Do I have to do that? Don't know. Why it tells me the dimension of A is zero zero. Oh yeah. Okay, A B. Yeah, thank you. Sure, that can be done either. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so uh, let, let, uh, let's keep it global. I, I don't want to write as many things. So let's uh, let's do this again. A is equal to this. Let's look at the history and try. Maybe where is the history? Anyway, so let's do this uh, is equal to a times this, a is equal to a plus this, and uh, plus one, and b is equal to zeros and one, and k is equal to point oh one. So I think we have all the global variables, and uh, let's do this again. Um, undefined functional variable a, so maybe I shouldn't have this. Okay, right, now I have the solution. So, uh, let's look at what the solution u is. So x, uh, two to end, and u. Maybe transpose. What is size of u? Yes, u is a matrix and uh, Vectors plotting, vectors must be the same length. So the size of x is this. So if I transpose, uh, anyway, so let's let's plot u to see what it looks like. So that's what the solution is. I was hoping I can also plot x over here, uh, but it doesn't allow me. So let's see. Should I do x transpose? <laughs> to end minus one okay now now that works right so that's that's how our solution changes with time the very first one is the initial condition and as time evolves the peak gets decayed further and further down right so that's uh, uh, that's how we expect the heat equation to behave